hey guys welcome or welcome back so in today's video i'm going to be sharing with you guys how to add videos over your videos in imovie i did this video just last week on photos so if you want to check that out i'll have that linked in the eye up top as well as the description box below so you can definitely go check that one out but yeah in this video we're just going to be covering how to add videos over your videos okay so let's go into imovie and here you can see you have your project so i'm just going to go into this project here and click on edit and as you can see, I have here examples of photos that I added in in the previous video. But this is just your main storyline that you have here with all your video clips. Um, and now I'm going to be showing with you guys how to easily add in a video over, say, this video clip that's already playing. Um, and the different methods you can have videos over your videos. Okay, so how you do this is really easy. You just click on the plus button up here and click on video. And as you can see, I have this folder here, which has a few videos in it. So I'm just going to add in this video here. So how you do this is really easy. You just tap on your video and then you'll see you have these little icons. So the first one here is a plus button. If you tap on that, it's just going to add in that clip as a regular video clip in your timeline. So that's not what we want to do. Second option is this play button. So you can just scroll through your video here and see everything. You can even trim it down here by dragging these yellow edges to the place where you want it to be. Um, so you can even do that. It's really, really simple and easy to do. And then the main area you're going to want to focus on is these three dots over here. So tap on that and then you'll see you have different variations of types of ways that you can add in your video over another video clip. Um, so we're going to go through all of these. So the first one we have here is cutaway. So you can just tap on that. And what that essentially does is it just covers this entire bottom clip. It just basically replaces the visuals of this clip. The audio of this clip could still be playing, but the visuals is going to be mainly the clip that you added over in. By the way, you can also change the method of overlaying this video clip here. So you don't have to go and edit it again in the plus button. You can just click here and change it. So change cutaway to split screen, green, green screen slash blue screen or picture in picture. You can do that. So the next method is picture in picture. What this does essentially is it adds it over in a little box here. Um, you can resize it by using these little icons here these have different features so the first one here is drag to position pinch to resize so you can drag it around pinch to resize it um, if you want a bigger or smaller anywhere on your screen you can do that and then this option here removes or adds a white um, border around your video so you can just tap on that on or off depending on what look you want for your video Next option here is split screen, so you can tap on that and then it will put it into a split screen mode here you can see. Um, and then it, once you tap on that, you can also edit some of these. So this rotates the split on your screen so you can have it different ways. Uh, you can just choose which one works best for you. And then this option here just removes or adds a white line in between the two clips, as you can see here. Now with this clip, I'm going to demonstrate green slash blue screen. I'm going to tap on that. And then you will see that all the green from the green screen will be removed and it will only be the remaining thing um, that is not green that will be shown. So that is how you use green screens in iMovie. It's really easy to do. When you tap on your video clip, you have a few options here. So the first one here is your strength. It will just change the look of your green screen depending if you have like a weird green. You can play around with this. I don't want it to be too strong because as you can see, it makes some of these look a little see-through. Um, so I'm just going to keep it here. Um, and it looks pretty good as well. So that is how you add your green screen and adjust the strength. This one here is just to crop your green screen. If you have a part of your green screen you want to crop out, you can easily just do that. The only downside of a green screen is just you can't move it around. Um, so wherever your green screen is positioned, it can't be resized or anything. So I can't make this a bit smaller and put it like in the corner here or something. Um, the size of your green screen is the way it's going to come across on your video. No moving around, which sucks, but um, it is what it is. And the last option, depending on the video clip that you have, you can tap on it, click on the three dots and add, click audio only. Um, as you can see, this green screen did not have audio, so it didn't give that option. But if your video clip does have audio, it will give you the option to add in audio only. So then no visuals of this clip will be shown, but only the audio of that clip. So you can use it maybe for voiceovers and things like that. So that is how you add a video over your video in iMovie. It's really easy and very similar to the whole adding pictures over your videos in iMovie. But um, this is really easy and I hope this helps some of you guys out if you didn't know this already. Leave a comment down below letting me know if you have any questions about this or anything you're wondering. Um, I will try to get back to all of you. 
And definitely give this video a thumbs up if it did help you. It really does help me out a lot. Definitely subscribe by clicking on the icon on the screen. Click on the playlist to see all of my other iMovie related videos and click on the video to see my previously uploaded video. I'll see you guys next time. Bye! Thank you.